Beyond the Tevere, the blonde Tiber River. That's the way Romans call it. As the legend says, back in the 8th century, twin brothers Romulus and Remus were found abandoned at the bank of the river by a she-wolf, and they were fed by her. Later on, Romulus founded Rome and has become the very first king. Others say ancient population of Etruscans called the river Ruman, and that's where Rome has got its name. In any case, without this river, probably Rome will not even be here today. There's a little island in the middle of the river, the Tiberina Island. Back in 291 BC, to save the city from a terrible plague, Romans have brought the sacred snake, which represented Asclepius, the god of the medicine, all the way from Greece. When the boat arrived at this point of the river, the snake swam to the island, therefore they've constructed a temple dedicated to Asclepius. Some say they also shaped the whole island into a boat. Actually, you can see the trace of it here and there. Asclepius always carries a staff with a snake. Even today, it symbolizes medicine. You can walk across the island using the two ancient bridges, the Cestio Bridge and the Fabricio Bridge, both built in the first century BC. The Cestio Bridge has been reconstructed several times, but the Fabricia Bridge is all original from the Roman days. Today on the island, there's a hospital, Fate Bene Fratelli, and a little church dedicated to St. Bartholomew. During the summer months, you'll see restaurants, pubs, shops, and stands along the banks and on the island, even an open-air cinema, a perfect place to enjoy a breezy summer evening. However, as you can see in the winter, the water level rises and the sidewalks are completely underwater, partially even the island. The Tiber River used to flood all the time, giving lots of trouble to the Romans until very recent. In fact, strolling down the streets, you find countless numbers of plates like these showing you the water level of some terrible floods from the past. Look how high the water's got. I mean, I'll be drowned for sure. Finally, in the end of 1800s, they constructed high walls on both sides, changing completely the aspects. Housing, ports, windmills, all disappeared today. One of the worst flood was on the Christmas Eve of 1598. It was so bad that after the flood, they found a broken boat all the way at today's Spanish Steps. Well, the steps, they're from 1700, so they weren't here yet. But we're more than 800 meters from the river. 30 years later, two sculptors made a fountain named Barcacha, the old broken boat, in the Spanish square. The sculptures were father and son Berninis, Pietro and Gian Lorenzo. Who knows? Maybe they were inspired by the story of the boat from 1598. Even from tragedy, something beautiful can be born. This is Ponte Rotto, the broken bridge, which dates back to 179 BC, constructed by Marco Emilio Lepido. So the true name of the bridge is Ponte Emilio. It's one of the oldest existing bridge of Diver River. 
It's been destroyed and reconstructed many times, but during this flood of 1598, it was damaged permanently. Although between 1853 and 87, they restored it by adding an iron arm and did use it for a while. This remaining arch is from 1500s, but the pylon is original from the 2nd century BC. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. The Tiber has always been next to Rome, and it'll always be.